sweethearts, what are you waiting for? Breakfast in bed? Another glorious day in the core. Hello there, you bunch of slags. Sakuraba1982, coming to you from the UK with an arcade let's play of the Aliens arcade game. Now, I did do this let's play previously. Unfortunately, the uh, commentary was incredibly low and you could hardly hear what I was saying, so. Hence why I'm doing it again. A uh, play here is Ellen Ripley. As you can see. And for some reason they chose to give Ripley the wrong coloured hair. She's uh, not a blonde, she's a brunette. But uh, it's an arcade game so you can't really take this too seriously. As you see as we go through the games, I take a lot of liberties with the source material. You know, uh, the alien types and such forth. But that's not too much of a problem. You'll see as we go. A lot of people actually quite like my arcade let's plays on my channel. Um, I quite like doing arcade let's plays. They're pretty good fun, you know. Kind of disengage the brain and, and play some arcade games. It's not about the try hard that you get with the online competitive scene, you know. I can literally just mash the button and, and talk about whatever bollocks comes to mind, I suppose. And the previous let's plays on my original channel, Sakuraba1982. This is, of course, my new channel, which is Sakuraba1982 Gaming. And uh, the reason I've changed my channel is due to YouTube technical issues, which I won't bore you with. Everyone knows the problems that YouTube's had with its uh, subscription boxes on older channels. And I got to a point where I had enough, basically. And it was time to start again. So this gives me freedom to replay a lot of the arcade games and retro games which I've already done and try and do do them better than I originally done them um, come, 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 on. come come on gotta be honest guys um, this is a good this is a good fun game but the previous let's play that I've done of this the commentary was so low you could hardly hear what I was saying over the game I used fraps and Fraps has an inbuilt commentary uh, facility in it, and I it was my first time using Fraps, and I didn't lower the game volume, so it's kind of you can hear maybe 40% of the commentary, but not the rest. So that's a good reason as any to redo this let's play. And you're going to see what I mean about the liberties they take with the source material. I mean, here you've got bat aliens, you've got brain aliens, you've got flying aliens, you've got crawling aliens, and the boss in this level is a giant rubber band alien. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. So it's a little bit crazy. But it's fun. I like games, you know, where you can just talk away and disengage the brain. And not try, you know, not trying to prove how big your e-penis is because you're better at a particular game than anyone else. You know, these sort of games are good fun. We've got... Pink aliens, brown aliens, yellow aliens, green aliens. You've probably got rainbow coloured aliens somewhere as well. So I suppose it would be a... Shit, I died. I suppose now would be a good time to talk about the Alien franchise as a whole. Um, being completely frank, the first two films, Alien Aliens, are somewhat held in the highest regard. And I think that is a fair assumption to make because... Alien and Aliens are just masterpieces in science fiction as far as I'm concerned. Now, I'm not a massive sci-fi guy, but if you followed my old channel or you know anything about me, you know I'm a massive, massive Aliens fanboy. I just absolutely love the franchise, man. I've got a leg sleeve tattoo of Aliens and Predator. I've got a full back piece tattoo, which I'm currently getting finished, which is Aliens, which has got Ellen Ripley and Newt in it. Um... I'm just a massive fanboy, man. I, I love the franchise. I absolutely love the franchise. But the first film was originally pitched in 1979 as Jaws in Space, believe it or not. It was, it was basically a horror movie, a slasher in space. But there's so much more to the original Alien than just being a slasher in space, you know. I think that's underselling it. It's a masterful suspense piece, you know. It, um... It's certainly a slow burn as well, you know, the f second film's an action film, the first film kind of builds, builds your suspense, you know. 
I'm about to die. Shit. Yeah, it certainly builds it. I mean, the original guy was a, was a really skinny guy in a suit, so they didn't have the facilities to make brilliant special effects back in 1979, but I think it helped the film as a whole, you know. Ellen Ripley or Sigourney Weaver rather played a, a great part in, in the first film. Kind of a reluctant hero, you know, he was kind of rooting for Dallas. I think, and, and Parker a little bit before Ripley kind of took the the mantle as the heroine of the film. And uh, yeah, basically she blows the alien out into space and, and that's the ending of the film. Uh, that was obviously Ridley Scott who directed that, his masterpiece. Here's this rubber band alien I was talking about. And then you have the sequel. Bearing in mind the first film was one alien, you know, kind of stalking a crew members through through a spaceship and uh, just before I finish talking about the first film I don't think you can really not mention the chest bursting scene in the first film uh, the reason the chest bursting film was acted so well was because the terror on the faces of the actors and actresses was real they did not know what was going to happen in that scene so automatically they're shooting this scene and then this alien bursts out the chest of uh you know, out of the actor, and it's just completely blown away by it, and that's why it's so well acted. Contrary um, on the second film, which was basically an, an action film opposed to a horror film, and I think most people would admit that Aliens is their favourite in, the, in the franchise, you know. It had a superb cast. Sigourney Weaver really steals the, the film as the second, sorry, the. Uh, really steals the show in the second movie I think and kind of really adopts that heroine role which is helped uh, mainly by the inclusion of the uh, young girl Rebecca or Newt as she's better well known as it's really kind of does the mother figure thing and it really works particularly well in that movie so opposed to having one alien stalking the entire crew in the first film you've got multiple aliens taking on interstellar marines, colonial marines. And uh, that's just a masterful film. Aliens just has great pacing. Um, every character in Aliens, apart from people like Burke, kind of have their, their moment. You know, like Hudson is the dick through most of the film, but has his kind of moment in the limelight at the end. Gorman comes good by the end. Probably the only character who really doesn't become good is Carter Burke, the company guy. And uh, you finally get to see the alien life cycle in the second film as well, the Queen Alien. And uh, it's just a masterful film, it really, really is. It's an action film, it kind of gets your adrenaline going, you know, and hits all the right notes. I think James Cameron really got the effects sorted with Stan Winston and the, uh, the Queen Alien effects and the, the big duel at the end. And I think they could have actually quite easily ended that story arc with Aliens. Because you had the sequel in 1992, Alien 3, and it upset a lot of people. It did. I mean, uh, you've got the second movie where you get to really know and love these characters. And they kill off two of the most beloved characters in the beginning of the third movie. It's absolutely crazy. It really upset people when they come out, killing Newton Hicks. And... Alien 3 is a horror movie, basically, it's a slasher film, but where the first film Alien is masterfully done, um, Ripley ends up on a prison planet with prisoners, and you don't really care about any of the characters, and it's just a bloodbath, this alien, this dog alien just completely obliterates everyone's there, and it's very hard to kind of feel anything about these characters, because they're all kind of unlikable, you know, they're rapists, they're murderers, they're this, they're that. And it's hard to kind of really get attached to them. But that being said, I am someone who does not mind Alien 3. And the reason I don't mind Alien 3 is because I think it has a good character arc for Ripley. It completely makes sense that she would sacrifice herself to kill the aliens. You know, to kind of stop them spreading. That is 
the selfless thing that Ellen Ripley would do. The film has a very dark, uh, miserable tone to it, a very depressing tone, which is not for everybody. But I think the thing about Alien 3 is, as the humans, they had very little options left. They had all their you know, kind of options taken from them. They had no weapons. So I had to kind of devise some way to kill this, you know, kill the alien itself when it was picking them off one at a time. And Ripley did the only thing she could do to stop the threat of the threat of the alien at the end of the film. So I quite like the character arc. And I do think that Alien 3 sometimes gets a little bit of heart, harsh criticism when it doesn't necessarily need it. And then there's Alien Resurrection. God damn it. Script originally wrote by Joss Whedon of Buffy fame. Now, I'm actually a massive Buffy and Angel fan, but there's a campiness to Alien Resurrection, which I really don't like. Um, the Xenomorph is a terrifying creature. It really is. And that was seen in the recent game Alien Isolation, which I'm absolutely in love with at the moment, even still. And I just don't like Alien Resurrection. There's this kind of cloning theme in there and this alien hybrid to humans and it's just god awful. Um, subsequently, in a few days just after I decided to make this video, it transpires that Alien 5 has been okayed and Sigourney Weaver is set to come in and replace her role as Ripley. Now we have a bit of an issue with here, with this. Aliens Colonial Marines was um, released to pretty much universal uh, critique. Basically everyone hated it. But the game was considered by 20th Century Fox to be official canon for the story. So Corporal Dwayne Hicks did not die in Alien 3. So that's going to be interesting to see how they deal with that. So I'm a big Aliens fan, man, but I think Alien 1 and Aliens are by far the best. Uh, the best Aliens video game ever created, in my opinion, is definitely Alien Isolation. And that gives me a lot of pleasure to say that, because I think this generation in gaming has been a little bit lacklustre so far, and it's great that I get such a high-ranking game on my top 10 list from the recent gen, you know? You can see here as I'm blasting my way through this game, there's pretty much... A lot of liberties taken with the source material. A lot of liberties taken with the source material. I mean, Ellen Ripley was known for using a pulse rifle opposed to a smart gun. But even so, man, it's all about being fun. There's been quite a few Aliens games over the years, too. Um, Alien vs Predator on the Atari Jaguar was kind of the first one to really mix the mix Aliens vs Predator outside the Dark Horse novels in the 90s. Um, Alien 3 on the Mega Drive was one of my favourites. Also had Alien Trilogy, which was actually the game which um, convinced me to buy a Sony PlayStation opposed to a Sega Saturn. <laughs> Alien Trilogy, man, it's definitely one of those games that has really aged, though. If you ever play Alien Trilogy, it looks like it's 30 years old now, I swear. Oh, go away. We seem to have a giant tick alien now, or a scrotum alien. That looks like a scrotum alien to me. Slightly itchy scrotum alien. Here we go. But anyone who's watched my previous channel for any length of time can tell you what an Aliens fanboy I am. And unashamedly so, too. It'd be interesting to see Ripley back in uh, back in, in the mantle um, for Alien 5. And what capacity they're going to have her in. Are they going to be using the Alien Resurrection Ripley? Bear in mind Sigourney Weaver's uh, in her 60s now. You know, it's been a lot of years since she's, she's really played that role. And they're also talking about bringing back Michael Bean as well uh, after Colonial Marines because he's not dead now officially from canon. So he is now 58. So it's really going to be interesting to see what they do with this. The guy to direct uh, directed District 9, I believe. 
That was the alien film set in just Hannesburg. You know, for me as an Aliens fan, man, it's just great that they're continuing the, uh, the franchise. It's going to be something of a reboot from what I understand. I just... Oh, fuck. I just really believe the Xenomorph should be scary. And it should be an organism to be feared, you know. This kind of just blowing them away one after another. Or the Aliens vs. Predator uh, Requiem Aliens. Just really don't do it for me. That's why when... Alien Isolation come out, man. It was such a such a big hit for me, you know. It, it just ticked all the boxes. And I don't care how tough you are, man. You are scared of the alien in Alien Isolation. You are terrified of the alien Alien Isolation, and that's a good thing. It's a funny thing, man. I started out on YouTube and... My channel kind of veered towards Fight Night Champion and uh, UFC for a period of time, but I'm way in, I'm into Aliens so much more than I am into UFC. It's just it's funny the way things work out. That's why I'm trying to kind of steer my channel away into Let's Plays. You know, I'm, I'm much more interested in being a gamer rather than the competitive online fighting guy. And as far as the communities go, man. The absolute scumbag and, and pod life of YouTube, you know, the trolls and the nasty assholes out there tend to be centred around kind of competitive gaming, you know. Trying to prove how big their testicles are and and how big their e-penis can grow, you know. So I'm quite happy here. Doing my let's plays. Getting back to doing what Sakuraba likes to do. And these uh, Waste of Space losers will get fed up with disliking my shit at some point because it's not going to stop me doing what I want to do. It's not going to make me fight them in Fight Night and it's not going to make me uh, upload other stuff. I'm going to do what I want to do. And you guys, man, look, seriously, if you've watched my channel over the last couple of weeks, how much happier and enthusiastic am I now than I was three months ago? And I can tell you honestly, from the bottom of my heart, guys, it's honest enthusiasm. It's not just me pretending to be enthusiastic because I know that's what, you know, that particular video gets views. I know UFC videos get more views than Aliens, to, you know, the arcade game. But I've, having, I've had more fun playing this than I had with UFC in the last, you know, 10 videos uploaded of that. So I don't even know what these are. Chimp aliens? What are they? Chimp aliens, I suppose. I just uh, started a darkness playthrough, which is a lot of fun. Enjoying that big time. I mean, I suppose it's one of those things, man. I've just got to grit my teeth and get through, through the turbulent period on my channel. There is a little bit of turbulence on my channel at the moment. And hopefully my uh, viewer base will round out and people will understand that I make good quality content. And that... People will look forward to these sort of videos as much as they look forward to uh, a boxing video or a UFC video, you know. That's the thing, you post one sort of content and you become pigeonholed and then people expect that stuff from you. And it's just, then resentment sits in from both sides and it becomes a nasty old business, folks. Nasty old business. I'm just having so much fun on my new channel. I'm really, I'm mean, just enjoying YouTube again and having so much fun doing it. You know, just making like one in every 10 videos or, or, or one in every 20 videos a Fight Night video or a UFC video is much more the ratio that I'm looking for. It's just so much fun, man. All these games. And the great thing is I've got a new channel so I can replay these Let's Plays that I didn't do as, you know, that didn't turn out the way I wanted them to turn out. I can redo them. I've got that, I've got that freedom. I've got myself a new channel. It's fun. And I sincerely hope that, you know, me being honest about things and and just the way that I'm reacting in my videos just shows you how much more fun I'm having, guys. So, you're watching this video, you know Sakuraba likes aliens, he's made it pretty plain and obvious. Who else would I recommend for you if you like aliens content? There's only really two guys I would point you towards. Uh, my buddy Red Eye Jedi, but he's since stopped doing Aliens content. But there's only really one other guy who I always go to for Aliens content. 
His name is General Lots. He's a really unique dude, man. He, he's um, he's a little bit of an oddball, but I really like his content. He does reviews, and he's kind of the one of the go-to alien guys on YouTube. So it's that's General Lots. I would highly recommend his stuff. As someone who I've kind of taken some inspiration from with the aliens content, so. Hopefully you like its content. I will link it below in the description. And uh, he knows his shit, man. He's, he, he, reads book, he reads his alien books a lot. He, uh... I'm just going to stand here and fucking fire at this thing now. Get away from her, you bitch. There we go. Bollocks. Oh, I thought I was dead then. I went to push the start button. There's loads of alien games for me though, guys. I can come back to and play as... I've got all these stuff. I've got Alien Trilogy I can do. I've got... Uh, I've just re-uploaded my... Um, Aliens vs Predator 2000 Let's Play. I've got Aliens vs Predator 2. I've got Alien Trilogy. I've got all these great games. Um, alien Isolation. And funnily enough, I get a lot of requests to do a Colonial Marines Let's Play, which is crazy, because that game is such a disappointment. But it wouldn't be outside the realms of possibility, you know. I would potentially consider doing it if the interest was there. It's just important for me, personally, to really kind of reinvent myself on YouTube, you know, and, and just not be that Fight Night guy, that UFC guy. And I want people to say... That's Sakuraba. Oh, he does cool content. He does all these different sorts of content. He, he seems to enjoy YouTube and he, you know, not the old Sack Uploads Fight Night. That's not what I want to hear. I want to hear Sack Uploads kick ass content, you know? I know that's not what some of my Fight Night fans want to hear. But if I upload stuff I don't upload, man, my channel becomes a lie. When your channel becomes a lie, your content sucks because you're having to fake. Being excited about something. Fuck it, I'm just going to take out our egg sack. Sack taking out the egg sack. Let's just take this out. Where's a flamethrower when you need one? Yes! Retro! Retro aliens goodness, folks. Retro aliens goodness. I sincerely hope you're enjoying this video, guys. It's been great to come back and give you this game. I've been meaning to redo this game ever since I did the first one, you know. Just gives me all this opportunity to go back and do stuff I want to do again. If the videos are particularly good quality, the old first ones I've done, I will be re-uploading them to this channel. I don't intend to delete my Sakuraba1982 channel, but uh, any sort of particularly good content I will re-upload here. But that's not just going to be anything, that's going to be just, you know, kind of the creme de la creme stuff. Nuts. I'm dead. Here we go. Them little blob aliens are really annoying, I'm just going to push past them rate of knots. Well, we have a self-destruct mode in the background, so one can assume we are near the end of the game. Here she is. We have a tick alien. Or the nutsack alien, depending on what you want to say. But if your nutsack looks like that, I think you should go and see a doctor, man. It's like oozing stuff out and shit. Fudge it! Start! Anyway, I hope you in, hope you have fun, guys. Uh, a little overview of the Alien series, you know. I can probably say, if I've watched any movie more than any anything else, I've probably watched Alien and Aliens, and maybe the first Predator more than all my other movies put together, man. Sometimes there's just a particular 
um, franchise that rings home with you, man. Some people like The Godfather, some people like, I don't know, other stuff. But for me, it is definitely the Aliens franchise, guys. Without a shadow of a doubt. Hmm. That sounds like boss music, does it not? Ow. Queen bitch killed me. Wrong way. Ow. Get away from her, you bitch! Well, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here because she's absolutely ravaging me when I'm sat in this. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage there. I'm just going to keep twatting her. Combo, left, right combo. Jab and straight. Jab and straight. Where's Newt anyway? Wow. Out. So I can probably do more damage with a smart gun than that. The queen looks pretty cool, doesn't she? That's not a bad rendering of a queen for such an old game. Whoa, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Die, bitch. Die, bitch. Been hammering the shit out of her. These games were designed to pump money into, were they not? Come on. Push, shoot one. Push in, push in, push in. I'm tapping, I'm tapping, I'm tapping. Yes. Zack is the champion. Well, I felt good to get that redone, guys. I'll bring you something else that you may not have seen on my channel. And fresh new gameplay as well. It's important to bring you new gameplay as well as my best of compilations. I have survived. Congratulations. Okay, guys. That's it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. And this is Sakuraba1982, as always, signing off.